something peaceful about this place. That's the pine tree arch. Avalon, can you tell me what the arch, this arch is called? North window. <laughs> It is day 10, right? It is day 10, yep, I believe. Yeah, I think that's right. It's really hard to get the days right um, when you're on vacation, I guess. Just They just all run together. But anyways, last night we had a wonderful time. It was so much fun. I, I love surprises and my hubby surprised us all and took us to the rodeo. And we have, we have rodeos at home every year. But it's been probably four or five years since I was at a rodeo. It's been a long time. So we yeah, just we can't make it this year either, so Yeah, we're gonna be gone. So this was really fun. It was just it was a big rodeo. Was lots of people. But anyways, we're it's a late morning. We got a late start because we wanted to go to Walmart, grab a few things, a little bit of groceries. And um, but now where are we heading boys? Can you tell us? We're heading to we're going to sleep in Moab tonight and go through Canyon Lands, maybe. So. Yep. And then tomorrow we're going to go to Arches National Park. Yep. I hope you're enjoying these videos because we're putting them out for you. We love we love to show you guys what we're doing and where we're going and just enjoying life. Yep. So as you probably noticed by now, we really like coffee in the mornings. <laughs> it's kind of a splurging thing that we do when we're on vacation. And the children don't drink coffee, so but we did let them get something. So Chloe's gonna tell you what we got this what we got for them. We got steamers. Okay, I don't know if you heard her, but she said we got them some steamers, some milk steamers. Look at that. Scenery is just spectacular right through here. Look at that, what we call a whirlwind, a dust angel out there. Tall, long, and skinny. Here we're on the southern end of Canyonlands, and we're at a spot here where it's called the Wooden Shoe Arch. You can see the hole right there in the middle of that rock. See right through it. But uh, anyways, yeah, it's kind of pretty here. And we might try to go in the north end as well. I'll show you this rock face over here. Really warm out. It's like 104 degrees right now. So we decided to jump out here and take a quick hike in this 101 or something degree weather. And it's actually really pretty here. I mean, look at this. This is canyon lands. Serious canyons down there. And look at some of these serious rocks right here. This is looking down the other side here into this other hole. A couple other hardy souls out here. Not too many, though. Wow. Ooh. That's way down there. Wow. Look at that, isn't that crazy? Wow. We're gonna see if we can hike up here part ways through this rock. Gotta make sure Chloe's safe over here. She's scampering up here like a little jackrabbit. Oh, shit. Hi, Dad. Whoa, hi Wyatt. All right, Chloe? Okay, careful. Kind of like steps right here. Hi. Hi. Oh, you're up there already. Do you have a Chloe? Oh. 
I'll catch you if you start rolling down here. <laughs> okay, careful, Chloe. Easy does it. Careful. Here in the north uh, west corner of part of Canyonlands, and we're coming here as the sun's going down. What do you think, babe? It's just amazing. And I just want to show you this. This is really, really amazing. You can see the fire in the distance over there. And if you look down here, you can see the, a trail that winds all the way down through there. Beautiful, beautiful. Here we are going on an evening walk and it is so beautiful. Really, really beautiful. Pretty much just us out here. And uh, the sun's gonna set here shortly. And we're walking out here to Mesa Arch, which there's a big arch that is just so pleasant. Absolutely pleasant. It was over hundred degrees today and now it's probably cooled down to 80. And it's just wonderful. One of those beautiful moments. So fun. And I see the arch out here. There it is, all the way down there. My boys, they're a little on the dangerous side, kind of like I think it was when I was their age. But. Most of the time I try to tell them to be take calculated risks at least. Let's go see what they're doing. I guess I gotta try it too now as well. <laughs> there they are, sitting up there. Find yourself a little spot? Yeah. Nice, okay. Bunch of other people down here now as well. Careful, Chloe. Better not come up here, girly. A little steep. Or not? Okay. <laughs> okay. Silly girl. Carefully. Come to the river. Come, come to the river. Carefully up. And that's spring, okay? Okay. It's lofa. Careful. Careful. It's pretty steep here, actually. All right. Here we go. Well, we made it at the arch. I think it's a straight drop off. Chloe, careful. Careful. I'll help you, Chloe. Oh, my goodness. Wow. This is absolutely incredible. Wyatt, come over here, please. Wow. Just look at that. Incredible. Just incredible. No way. Wow. Overhanging drop off. It's a thousand. It's probably 500 feet down there. Wyatt and Chloe. Wow. Very cool. Oh, it's just absolutely beautiful. We're having so much fun here. Look at this beautiful view. The little ones are having so much fun. The sun's going down. <laughs> My little darling. You wouldn't think anything's wrong with her toe. Pretty much healed up by now. There she goes in a big circle. Out again to her rock. All right, sit Chloe, sing me another song. Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. Yes, 
Good job, Chloe. Wonderful. Okay, it's been such a pleasant evening out here. It's just really, really wonderful. Wow. <laughs> okay, yeah, very beautiful. I keep saying wow, but this whole trip has just been wow. This evening is like one of my favorite evenings so far. Probably, well, this is definitely my favorite evening. This is just so beautiful in its own way. Just so relaxing and what, hun? Yeah, it's something peaceful about this place. I think it's because the temperature is a little cooler and the sun is going down and just, I'm not sure. It's, it's not just, crowded with people. There's yeah, hardly anybody here, which is... no one here. We're kind of that way. We don't like yeah. to be where there's a lot of people. And I know tomorrow when we go to Arches, there's going to be a lot. Yeah, of it will be. It definitely will be, but... It's just really nice. There goes a, a bird up there. It looks kind of like a swift. I think it is a swift. So we decided to drive to one more place to this Dead Horse State Park. There you can see the fire actually burning up the forest fire up there. But it's just this huge deep gorge. It's pretty amazing. There's actually a river down there, but I don't think you can see yeah, it. Yeah, unfortunately it's kind of dark. Now you can see a little bit better down here. Yeah, there's there's a the river, Colorado River. I'll we'll come over here and show you a little bit more. Okay, there's Avalon and Wyatt up on top, and Chloe's crawling up the side of this silhouetted tree. There's Abby girl. Let's take a look at this river down here. It's almost too dark to see. Yep. So now it's really too dark to see anything, but there you can still see the river a little bit. And there's where the sun went down. What do you think, Wyatt? I don't know. Fun? There's the moon hanging up there in the sky. We're just sitting here enjoying the last of the sunset. And here, Priscilla and I sit, <laughs> enjoying the fading of the sunset. Yep. Good morning, hey, this is now something like, where are we at, babe? Day 10, 11? I think it's day 11. We think it might be day 11, we don't know. Still on vacation, that's the important thing. But we're, this morning we got up bright and early. Well, it wasn't, it was kind of early, like six o'clock. And uh, for vacation, that's early. So we decided, well, let's go to Arches before everything opens. Anyways, took us a while to get this and that. You had to get ice and stuff. Anyways. We got there and the park was already full. It says there's no way you can do it and you can enter. So that was such a bummer. So we'll check back later this afternoon. So we're just taking a hike right now. We decided to come back to Canyonlands. Well, then there was a line about a mile long and it didn't seem to be moving. So we decided, well, let's go back to Dead Horse State Park, which is where we're at right now. And we're walking along the rim trail. So we'll do this for a couple hours. We'll go back and see if we can get in arches. Maybe things have cleared out. Unfortunately, it's going to be the hottest part of the day, but if nothing else will drive it, I guess. It's supposed to be cooker today again. So it's really nice here. Hardly anybody around. Real quiet. This is kind of a side park from Canyonlands. It's right up against Canyonlands National Park. So we're just walking along. It's a little bit scary because it's uh, this rim. It's right on a rim, and it's literally a drop-off. So we're trying to stay, keep the kids away from the edge. It's pretty major. There you can see the drop-off right here. I'll just get closer to the edge and just show you. It's literally, I don't know what, 500, 1,000 feet straight down. It's totally freaky right here. It's just huge. Huge drop off. Serious canyon with the Colorado River down underneath there.
Wow, the echo, the echo is really, really cool. We're at Meander Outlook right here. Yippers. Save your energy, young lady. Well, this little boy had a little spill here. Look at that little owie. The medic has arrived. Good thing we got a first aid kit in our bag. I'll do two bandages. That's one right pretty there. important if you've got a family. There you go. We go through band-aids. We have like bandages on the auto ship. That's how fast we go through bandages. <laughs> Thanks, Chloe. Oh. Oh yeah. Nothing the band-aid can't heal. Ooh. There you go. Good as new. Is it a little better, Wyatt? Let's wait your knee. Go. Is your, your knee nose. a little bit Throw scraped? a bandage on there too. Just for grins. That'll make it feel better. It must do two. Nope, just one. Okay. So let's not put that back in there, Chloe. Let me put it in the trash. Okay. Hey, where's this Wyatt? Right there. Okay, right there. There we go. Great. All done? All done. <laughs> so Chloe was walking and she was looking behind her and all of a sudden she turned forward. She looked forward and there was a, one of these big juniper trees poked her right above the eye. Her reflexes thankfully closed quick enough. It just scratched the top of her eyelid. Actually, there was some eyebrow hair and eyelash hair stuck on the branch. <laughs> but so she's kind of hurting, but she's doing okay. Yep, we just thank God for his protection. This is what happens when you go hiking a lot of times. Yep. A band-aid can't fix that, though she can't open her eyes if I put a band-aid on your eye. <laughs> but she's okay. Well, you didn't blink, no, blink. Well, we, I think we came to the furthest point that we are going to come to. I believe we're about uh, one and a third miles uh, from when we started walking. So we have to walk back, but this is just a really beautiful. It's like a miniature Grand Canyon, is what it is. Just so much land of nothing. Boat dock. Sun starting to cook down, ain't it? This is so haze. Made it to Arches National Park and there is Balance Rock right there. We're gonna go see quite a few arches. There's the Skyline Arch. So we picked up Subway before we came <laughs> and now we found this really cool picnic spot all the way at the end of Arches National Park. The end of the road and there's Justin and Ethan. They struck up up there, climbed the little wall and are hanging out for a second. Real pretty spot right here. Okay, hey boys, let's eat. If you've never been to Arches National Park, it's really beautiful. So we're gonna go on a couple hikes. It's still like 103 degrees, but it was like 111, so now it's cooling off. Yep. <laughs> and so we're gonna eat, and then we're going to uh, go on a couple little hikes, see a couple arches, and we're gonna stay here after the sun sets. So we're walking up this place called What's it called? Devil's Garden Trail. And we're going to go check out. There's a bunch of arches up here, but it's like two miles or so to the furthest one. So we're only going to go part of the ways up uh, up here and see a couple different arches. What did you see, boys? Deer. Oh, a deer? Oh, look at that. There's a deer right there. I didn't know that. That's pretty neat. Looks like a black tail. Okay, we are now in here at the tunnel arch up there. That's about 120 yards off. Just realized that other one up there is also an arch. Pine tree. That is a big arch. Everybody around here is trying to climb, except Mama. She's not trying to climb. And Avalon's not trying to climb. And I'm not trying to climb. What a beautiful arch. Pine tree arch. There's Chloe digging in the sand. Justin and Wyatt. 
It's a beautiful evening. Sun's just kind of setting behind some of these boulders. Wow, how pretty, pretty, pretty. So this is really incredible. I came up here and I get the sun going down behind this arch. And right now it's literally shining through the arch right there. Right in the middle of the screen, it's shining through my arch, through the arch right there. So amazing that I was able to capture this moment. Wow. I got winded trying to run uphill through this sand. And now it's dropping behind some bushes. There it is. I'm going to move over. And now it's behind it once again. Wow. So this was amazing. That picture I was just taking, that was from the arch that you see all the way up there. You can see a little bit of light coming through. But that's actually not the arch we came to see. You've got to look at this. There's the arch we came to see. That is incredible. Wow, this is so beautiful. Okay, Wyatt, we're at this arch over here. What do you call this arch? A landscape arch. And look how beautiful it is. Yeah, Luke's hot arch is the most. Yeah, it's beautiful. Wow. What is it? That, it's almost a 300 foot span, I think. No, more than that? Isn't it the biggest in North America? Oh, biggest free span in North America. Yeah. Is this the gorgeous art that we Yes, said? and there you can see the moon right, right up there over the rocks. Okay, now we're checking out this delicate arch. It says that it's the remnant of an ancient arch. The arch today has an opening of 45 feet high and 33 feet wide. And it's all the way there on top of the hill. And we decided not to walk to it, but it's pretty cool. Look at that, that's amazing. All right, we're trying to get one more hike in before it gets too dark. So we gotta speed over to the next place. Doesn't look that uh, dark, but Justin, Ethan, Avalon, and Wyatt and I decided to quickly run up here to this arch. But just look at the skyline. Very, very neat. And the sunset behind us here. It's a beautiful place. So you can see it's getting pretty dark here. And this is a huge, major arch. It goes way up there. It's amazing. Avalon, can you tell me what the arch, this arch is called? North window. Yep. And now we're going to go check out the south window. Okay, now that's the south window. Now we're going to go right behind us and check out the turret arch. 